Today we're going to look at expanding and simplifying certs. So here's your learning objective, here's your warm up, have a quick go and then we'll go through them. Okay, so root 3 times root 2 is root 6. 3 root 5 times root 2 is 3 root 10. Root 2 times root 2 is 2. Simplify root 12. So two numbers that times give to make 12, one of which is a square number, becomes 2 root 3. Expand and simplify, so we times over the brackets, 4 lots of x, 4 lots of 2y. So I get 4x add 8y. Okay, we can't simplify any further because you cannot add x's to y's. And number 6 is a quadratic, this means everything in this bracket times by everything in this bracket. So we need to draw a grid. You might have another method to do that, that's fine. I think the grid method is the easiest way. So x times x is x squared. We get 3x, 4x and 12. So when we simplify, I've got x squared at 3x, at 4x, at 12. So I can add my x's together here. So I get x squared at 7x, at 12. So our key points for today are when we expand or multiply out brackets with certs, we follow the same rules as algebra, which is why those two questions are in your warm up. So here is my first worked example. So I've got root 2 bracket 1 add root 3. So I expand over the bracket like I would in algebra, but I use my rules of certs. So root 2 times 1 is root 2, root 2 times root 3 is root 6. We cannot simplify this any further, so this question is done. Here's one for you to do. Press pause and have a go. Okay, let's go through this. Root 5 times 2 is 2 root 5. Root 5 times root 5 is 5. And remember there's a minus there, so we write minus 5. Here's some practice questions for you to have a go at. Press pause and come back and mark them. Okay, let's go through these. So root 3 times root 2 is Sorry, root 3 times 2 is 2 root 3. Add root 3 times root 7 is root 21. Question 2. Root 3 times root 2 is root 6. Root 3 times root 5 is root 15. Here I've got 2 root 2 times 3, which gives me 6 root 2 minus 2 root 2 times root 3 is 2 root 6. Okay, and next part here then, I have another worked example for you. So as you can see, this time we're dealing with double brackets. So this means we need to make sure we times everything in this bracket by everything in this bracket. Now, I do think that the grid method is the easiest way to do this, especially with the certs. So I put one of the brackets at the top, I put one of the brackets down the side, and then I multiply everything. So root 3 times root 3 is 3, root 3 times 2 is 2 root 3, 3 times root 3 is 3 root 3, 3 times 2 is 6. So write these out, 3 add 2 root 3, add 3 root 3, add 6. Now I simplify it, so I can add the integers together. So I've got 3 add 6 gives me 9. And then 2 lots of root 3 add 3 lots of root 3 is 5 lots of root 3. Okay, here's one for you to do. Press pause and then come back and we'll go through it. 
Okay, so you draw your grid. Pop root five, add one, root five, add two. Root five times root five is five. One lot of root five is root five. Two times root five is two root five. And two times one is two. Write them out, five, add root five, add two lots of root five, add two. So we get five, add two is seven. One lot of root five and two lots of root five is three lots of root five. Okay, so I have two practice questions for you to do. Press pause, have a go, and then we'll go through them. Okay. Here's your answers. Have a look and mark them for me. Okay, moving on. I have two worked examples for you. We're going to look at them one by one. So we've got a quadratic again, so I draw a grid. I pop root 5, add root 2, root 3 minus root 2. So always be careful when there's a minus sign, that's where most people would get tripped up. So root 3 times root 5 is root 15, root 3 times root 2 is root 6, minus root 2 times root 5 is minus root 10, minus root 2 times root 2 is minus 2. Write them out, I've got root 15, add root 6, minus root 10, minus 2. Now, when I look at all of these, there's no individual third that can actually be simplified. So this is as far as it can go. So this is the actual answer. It cannot be simplified any further. Okay, next example. Let's have a go. Let's draw our grid out. Got root six minus root two, root three, add two. Okay, root 3 times root 6 is root 18. Root 3 times minus root 2 is minus root 6. 2 lots of root 6 is 2 root 6. And 2 lots of minus root 2 is minus 2 root 2. So write them over here. I've got root 18 minus root 6. Add 2 lots of root 6 minus 2 root 2. So I'm looking here and I can simplify these here. So I've got minus root 6, add on 2 root 6, is going to leave me with 1 root 6. So I've got root 18, add root 6, minus 2 root 2. So I've just simplified that middle bit there. Now I'm looking at these, will this simplify any further? Well yes, because 18 can be written as root 9, times root 2, which becomes 3 root 2. Now this is a root 2, we've got root 2 over here, so we will be able to simplify that a little bit further. So 3 root 2 minus 2 root 2 is going to leave me with root 2. So my final answer is root 6 add root 2. Okay, here's a question for you to do. Press pause and then we'll go through it. So draw out your grid. Got root three, add root two, root six, add two. So I get root 18, root 12, two root three, and two root two. Let's write them out here, so I get root 18, add root 12, add 2 root 3, add 2 root 2. Now none of the roots are the same at the minute, but if we can simplify some of these then we can add them together. So I get root 18 becomes root 9 times root 2, which is 3 root 2. Root 12 becomes root 4 times root 3, which is 2 
root 3 and the other ones cannot be simplified so we pop them on the end. Now we can simplify, we can add a 3 lots of root 2 to a 2 lots of root 2 which is 5 lots of root 2 and then we've got 2 lots of root 3, add 2 lots of root 3 which is 4 lots of root 3. So I now have four questions for you to do. Press pause, have a go and then we'll go through them. And here are your answers. So the next thing I have for you is some problems involving certs. Press pause, have a go and then we'll go through the answers. Here are the answers, mark your work, see how you got on. So what you need to do now is download the exit ticket, complete it, take a photo of it and send it back to your teacher.